Hello and welcome, my name is Kyle for the win and welcome back to another Black Ops Cold War video. Today, we are back with another beta gameplay and in this video, we are using the final SMG that you unlock within the beta, which is the KSP-45. Now, I expected the beta, beta to be done this morning, which is obviously Monday, but the community actually extended the beta by a day, which is pretty dang awesome. They... I was obviously, as I said, I couldn't make videos, but I did have internet where I was, so I could kind of keep tabs on what was going around the Call of Duty community. And when and when they said Pontex Pond website has been has been activated and everything like that, and then I saw the announcement that the beta was extended a day and everything was unlocked attachment wise on your weapons, I was like, sweet! I get to play the beta more, which is pretty dang awesome. I will have a very in in depth, detailed review of the beta tomorrow. But today, we're just going to have a video using the final SMG, my last live gameplay in the in the beta version of the game. Now, this is a very, very interesting SMG. I'm not sure if it's going to be the last one you unlock or not. I'm hoping that there's a lot of SMGs in the game. Obviously, this is a beta, so there's probably a lot more weapons to kind of to use and stuff. But in the SMG, AR category, etc., 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 this is a very, very cool SMG. Basically, it is a three-round burst SMG, sort of like the Chicom, but with about half the fire rate. It shoots very, very slow. Oh, crap. I, Where did this guy come from? I just looked that way about a half a second before he jumped around that corner, but okay then. But yeah, I used it for about two or three games yesterday, and it's all right. I wouldn't say it's the best SMG by any means, but if you're accurate... You can put in some serious, serious work, but of course I'll show you the class after this video, but right now we need to focus on getting ourselves some kills here. Nice, there's a nice little two-piece. I'm going to go ahead and throw this down as well. Come on. Come on. See, look at that. That is what this SMG can do. It's more of an AR than anything, in all honesty, but... It does work from close range, but you have to be very, very careful because it can it can very, very easily get outgunned by the the MP5, the AK74U, etc., etc. But I mean, if you're accurate, you can absolutely demolish people. So, ooh, that was close. All right, where'd this guy go? Come on, give me another ping. Oh, I guess he's over here. Please don't get shot in the back. Please don't get shot in the back. Nice. No! Dang it. I, dang it. I should have kept my sights up there. I would have gotten, gotten that other guy as well, but I just... Did not keep my sights up, unfortunately. But it's all good. No big deal. Now I do have the chopper gunner on, but if I get if I get that, that would be just an insane stroke of luck. But I actually do have a chopper gunner gameplay, but um, yeah, it wasn't very good. I think I got one kill with it. Okay, let's run away. Let's run away. I don't I I don't think I want to be hanging around there too long. All right, I think these guys might be upstairs. I don't know actually. Are they over here? Yep, there's one guy. Wait. Damn it. I got an assist. That's not good. No! <sighs> Dang it. That gun is so freaking powerful, man. The M16 is a great weapon. It's a great, great weapon, but it's it's been a very, very weird beta experience because I haven't really encountered like as strict of skill-based matchmaking that I encountered in the alpha. So or week one of the beta. So I kind of have a feeling they might have toned down the SBMM a little bit. But then that's just me though, because I've seen other other players and other lobbies where 
people are getting absolutely demolished and and it's like the sweatiest gameplay i've ever seen but i don't really export ex experience that as much as a lot of people have especially week two obviously i've had a couple games but for the most part it's been pretty dare i say casual this week for me which is kind of weird i mean because the skill based matchmaking last weekend was just really really bad same with the alpha but for this week weekend two of the beta for me anyway for my personal experience it's been pretty n pretty normal it's not been crazy or, or you know overly crazy it's just been pretty pretty fine to me so I'm not sure exactly what the deal is with that but I'm not complaining if I can feel like I don't have to try the hardest I've ever tried in my life to do well, then that is what I'm happy with. Alright, these guys have to be over here somewhere. Yep, there we go, there's one guy. And there's another guy over here as well. Yep. Sure enough. Dang it, I wish I could run through there without literally telling everybody that, Hey, I'm right here. Kill me. Because I'm on your objective. It's kind of hard to... It's really, really hard in this game to kind of sneak up on people. Come on. I know you want to peek. No! No, man! Dang it, dang it, dang it. She got up there so fast. I don't know how she got up there that fast. I I knew she was going to do that, but my guy would not lay prone for the life of me. I was just waiting for that person to... Dude, what are you doing, man? <sighs> Laying prone on the floor with an MP5, of course. I just don't get that, man. That isn't... Hello, I see you. Thank you very much. I can hear people. Mm, maybe not. That was weird. I felt like I could hear people around me, but... Maybe that was just the audio that they said I'm capturing the objective. freaking hate being up there that's why i i killed that one guy and i'm running away don't i don't like hanging out up there especially with an smg no thanks let's go got another guy down run now you should destroy every every piece everything you see in the in like field mics trophy systems you should destroy those every time you, you come across them because they are they give you 100 points for free, which is two kills equivalent. So, thank you very much. Crap. You know, I'm pretty sure I can still get this chopper gunner. I think I have a lot of time, but I need to get on a nice streak here. I only need 5,000 score. There we go. No, man. I shouldn't have challenged that guy. It is an SMG that can do well from medium range, but you never want to challenge an M16 with an SMG from that far away. It's just not going to work out too well for you, unfortunately. But I do like this gun a lot. It's really, really fun to use. Please don't die. Oh my gosh, the fact that I lived through that is lucky. I'm dead. Dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I need to get around him. I need to get around him, but I just don't know how. We're walking down that middle area of the map really, really well. But I guess I could go this way. I do have ninja. Which is good, so I should be able to sneak right over here. No! I apologize. I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm trying my best, but... 
Thank you, teammate. I knew I was I was gonna lose that gunfight if you didn't if you didn't take out that guy. What are you doing, my guy? Slight crouching around. I see how it is. Enemy spike plane inbound. All right. Um. There we go. Good job, teammate. Nice. Come on. There we go. Another three kill streak. Nice. There we go. I'm so close. My teammate got a chopper gunner. Nice job, teammate. The question of the day. Can I get mine, though? I can get mine. Am I going to be able to call it in, though? Nope, I'm not going to be able to call it in. Unfortunately, I just I didn't go on a good enough streak at the end of the game. And I get sniped right at the end of the game. And we lost the 3 KD right at the end of the game. Play well. Anyway, guys. That is going to do it for a gameplay using the SM new the final SMD that you unlock within the beta, the KSP45. Of course, we'll head into the lobby and I will show you guys what class I was using here in the video for this weapon. But I really like it. I think it's a very, very good SMG. And it's I don't think it's the best SMG in the game by any means, but it can definitely destroy people. And I really, really am happy that there's a three-round burst SMG back in Call of Duty because I really did enjoy using the Chicom from Black Ops 2. And yeah, so obviously, as I said, all attachments were unlocked, so I, I'm actually able to show you guys what I was using with this class, like if I were to use a full class of it with everything unlocked. So for the muzzle, I was using the agency suppressor, which gives you an improved 100% radar signature fade, which essentially means you're completely off the radar, plus 15% to recoil, vertical recoil, recoil control. And which also gives you a negative 25% to effective damage range. For the barrel, I've been using the 10.9 paratrooper barrel, which gives you improved effective damage range and improved muzzle velocity at the cost of sprint movement speed and aim move speed. For the underbarrel, I've used the field agent foregrip, which gives you, gives you improved vertical recoil control and horizontal recoil control at the cost of shooting movement speed. And then for the magazine, I've gone for the 42 round speed mag, which gives you improved magazine size, improved reload speed, improved starting ammo, and improved ammo capacity at the decrease of aiming speed speed and then last but not least i've gone for the warden tight grip which is the improved aiming speed as well as an 80 percent to aim flinch stability now i'm not sure what aim flinch stability is but if i click on here it basically improves the accuracy of the weapon essentially all this stuff doesn't really matter too much but at the decrease of sprint out speed so overall this smg is really really good I don't think it's the best SMG at all by any means, but it's very, very fun and it can do very, very well. As I, as I said, it is quite a lot like an assault rifle in all honesty. It can really, really kill enemies from far away and, and it does a very, very good job at it. Just be careful when you're coming up against SMG players from very close up because obviously you have to put a couple bursts into somebody and they will have probably more ammo in you by the time you get those two bursts out so just be very very careful but for the perks i've been i was using flash jack attack mask avenger tracker ghost and ninja i was using the stim shot the frag and the proximity mine so overall it is a very very good class but anyway guys i just want to do it for my last live gameplay of the beta i really really enjoyed the beta overall and i will definitely be playing more today throughout the day because i'm just addicted to this game this game is absolutely amazing to a degree i'll talk about that in the beta of course or in my review of the beta but anyway guys hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did like rating i was appreciated if you want to check out any of my other previous black ops cold war videos from earlier this weekend i had a qbz gameplay that went up on saturday as well as i had a video talking about prestige system as well as playing the brand new fire team dirty bomb mode so you can feel free to check those out there on my channel as well but anyways i'll see you guys all on another black ops cold war video very very soon